What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the Liddy RC L8HW, the mini RC quadcopter ready to fly with the 720p HD Wi-Fi FPV camera. Now this one has headless mode, altitude hold, and the one key return, just like all of the other quadcopters that are coming out now. And if you look on the bottom of the quadcopter, there's an on and off switch, as well as a charge port as well. And this one has a proprietary battery, which is a 520 milliamp, 3.7 volt battery that's supposed to give you a flight time of around nine to 10 minutes. Okay, and there is an on and off switch so we can leave the battery installed there's a couple of led lights right up on the top here led lights on each of the motor pods front and rear and we already have the prop guards pre-installed and i'm just going to leave the prop guards on there otherwise i'm going to have to take the props off and i'm going to have to remove that i think that kind of holds everything in place as well so i'm just going to leave it there's a micro sd card slot however i tried uh recording and somehow it does not work so i'm not getting any recording at all i'm not sure if i'm doing anything wrong i did format the card and try different uh configurations of the uh sd card and it still doesn't work so i'm not sure if uh it does work this is a wi-fi fpv unit now this baby here also comes in a 5.8 gigahertz fpv unit as well and i'm pretty sure the micro sd card will work on that variation of the quadcopter but this one is a wi-fi fpv uh, unit and here is the remote control the remote control is a little funky here we've got the trim buttons up on the right corner where the pitch and the roll should be so when you grab the remote control your thumb has to kind of come down a little bit yeah I know it's one of those so you're gonna have to pitch forward slightly at an angle here's some more uh, control buttons here I believe this one turns the lights on and off uh, the side buttons are trim buttons and this one controls the speed because the button up here is taken by the photo and the video so, but this is again, the Wi-Fi unit and I've already tried the photo and video, it does not work. Okay, so this button up here does the flips and also there's some control buttons right next to the power switch. The one on the left does the headless mode function and the one on the right does the one key to return function. And in order to uh, calibrate the gyros, both sticks to the bottom and to the left will calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter and to arm and disarm uh both sticks to the bottom and in is then emergency stop okay so don't forget that okay uh the quadcopter will just come crashing down if you do that in mid-flight okay uh, both sticks to the bottom and out however unlocks the motors okay so it's just an unlock uh, function so after that you just uh, throttle up to take off okay that's the remote control for you. And we do have a uh, phone clip here. If you look in the back of the remote control, uh, it is exposed. It takes uh, four AAA size batteries. So you put the cover on and you push it up and you got yourself a phone clip as well. They do give you that little screw to screw down the back cover, but I found that uh, you know it's pretty strong enough and you do have this little knob over here so you can uh, control the tilt angle of your uh, phone clip as well as adjust the the width of the phone clip as well and it's got some silicone stuff right up underneath so it holds the phone pretty good and my iphone 6 plus uh, fits on there very well you also get this little charge dongle so it's a proprietary charger so it has those three little prongs so what you're going to do is you're going to uh, place this thing right up in here and it only goes in one way so don't have to worry about that as well as you can take the battery out and then plug it in this way and open up this area usb charge um, power supply and then you can just 
charge up the battery in this manner as well. So that's the USB charge dongle that they give you. And you also get a bag of goodies containing a screw. That screw is the one that uh, holds down the, uh, the back cover of the battery bay. And you get the, a set of extra props and a screwdriver as well. And you also get this instruction manual too. Uh, covers both the, uh, the Wi-Fi unit as well as the 5.8 gigahertz unit as well. Okay, so there you have it guys. So let's go for a little flight with the Lidi RC L8HW. All right, we got the Lidi RC L8HW ready to go. So let's go ahead and power this baby on, turning it on. And we got some LED lights up in the front. It's blue and in the back it's red and on the top it's blue. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the remote control and up and down on the throttle will connect the remote control to the quadcopter. Bolt stick to the bottom and out. Arms the motor and bolt stick to the bottom and in emergency stop. Okay, that's how you stop. It is not a one kilo land guys, so be careful with that. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the phone here and let's go into the settings and into the Wi-Fi. And look at that, it is already connected to the Lidi RC network. So fantastic. And there is the Lidi RC phone app. Uh, you have a choice of 720p start or just play. I'm gonna hit that 720p. So we can take some videos with 720p and it looks fantastic. Yep. I don't see any lag, so that is great news. Now, uh, let's go ahead and take a photo. There you go, we took a photo there. Uh, let's take a photo here. There you go, turn it around, take another photo there. Photo this side. Photo this side. One more photo there. So we are good to go with the photos. Now let's hit that video icon and it turned yellow and there's a yellow counter that started right on underneath that video icon. So we are recording as well. So let's go ahead and check this baby out. Headless mode, one key return. This one does the flips and this is a speed changing and that is the light. So let's hit the light and see if the lights turned off. Yep, the lights turned off guys. Nice. Okay, so we are going to start in speed number one. Let's arm the motors. There you go. And manually hit that throttle and we got lift off and check that out. We got altitude hold baby and that thing is just hovering really nice very minimum amount of wind looks like it's doing a little bit twitchy type of uh a yaw okay that is a little hover on the ground pretty nice check that out very nice hover man we don't have any wind right now awesome okay we got a proprietary battery guys, so let's go ahead and get this baby uh, on the road here. Let's get it rolling. That is speed number one. Pretty decent. That's speed number one, I'd say. Not bad. Let's go to speed number two. I didn't quite hear that beep, but yeah, I believe this is speed number two. It seems to be a little bit more sportier here okay speed number three yep three beeps speed number three wow this thing is pretty nice hey we got ourselves another winner there's a little bit of a wobble up on the turn there due to the altitude hold but it is working nice Hey, nice. 
Okay, I think that was a little bit of a power drop there. But it's doing not, uh, it's doing good now. Okay, don't do too much maneuvers at the single time here. No, it's doing fine. Hey, fantastic. Not bad, not bad. Okay, you got to hold the flip button down and it will beep like a few beeps. And do the flip. There you go. I'm going to bring it up. There you go. All directional flips. Awesome, awesome, nice. Okay, let's check out the headless mode here. Hitting this button. Okay, a constant beep is on indicating headless mode. And we are in a spin with the full left yaw, going forward and backward, left and right. Yep, headless mode is working fantastic. Let's go ahead and get out of the headless mode and one key return. There you go, it's coming back to the southbound heading. Redirect it and you are out of the one key return, as well as hit the button one more time. Oop. Hey, hit the button one more time does not work with the uh, stoppage of the one key return. So you got to redirect it with the pitch and the roll in order to get out of the one key return. Okay, so take a note of that. Other than that, it is working awesome. Yeah, baby. And we are still doing flips. So we are not even close to the LVC warning stage here. So nice. Pretty decent flight time. Yeah, it's supposed to give you about 9 to 10 minutes of flight time, so that is fantastic. All right, so let's go uh, up in altitude. And I'm going to see if I can do some FPV. Turning around, okay, right above me, passing by me to the opposite side. Okay, there's a lag there, so I don't know where my front is. Okay, there you go, bringing it back. A little bit more turn around there I go coming towards me going over me to the other side turning around and there I am again going over me and turning around oops overshot hey you can FPV with this thing okay going out to the field and turning around there I go uh oh I lost connection there Okay, it's just going to come down and it landed itself. I'm not sure if I lost connection or now the battery is low. So I'm going to hit that video icon and stop the recording first. All right, let's see if it ran out of battery or was it just, oh, that's a lot of dung here. Watch out. <laughs> okay, let's take it back to the table. No, nope, the lights are not blinking. So uh, the light on the top is blinking. Okay, so let me see if I can reconnect here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is turn it off. I'm done with the video taking, so I'm gonna turn it off and turn off my remote and turn it back on and turn on the remote. I'm gonna go ahead and release my phone off of this clip and Turn it off. I don't need my phone anymore. So, up and down on the throttle. Eh, the lights are still solid, guys. So, let's see what happened there. Ah, it doesn't want to start. Nope. So, something happened here. I do have solid lights. That is kind of strange. Let me go ahead and turn it back off. And turn off the remote. And maybe it's connected to my app still yet. So I kill the app. Let me completely kill the app. Okay, I've killed the app. 
and let's go into my Wi-Fi and it is not connected okay so Wi-Fi is not connected turning on the quad turning on the remote up and down yep I got connection hey we got power so it was connected to my phone <coughs> maybe that's what happened when it went down there <coughs> it it went from my remote control to my phone so that is the um, uh, issue here with the Wi-Fi FPV quads it is utilizing the same frequency as the remote control so that there you have it guys that is a prime example of losing control I just done a review on a Ichin E56 and it did the same thing but you know what maybe it's because the battery did get kind of low that it fluctuated between the two with the uh, 2.4 gigahertz so that is the flight time on the Lidi RC's L8HW all right we are out here again this is another day and today is a lot gloomier than yesterday and it rained overnight as well so that field in there with a lot of cow droppings and I'm not gonna take a chance over there uh, it kind of moisturized everything that's on the ground so I'm over here on the roadway sort of so we are going to test out the Lidi RC but what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly it with the Wi-Fi phone app so let's go ahead and hit that on switch right here and turn on the phone go to our settings and let's go to the Wi-Fi section of the settings and we should see the Wi-Fi network coming up very shortly here and there we go it is automatically connecting here Lidi 101386 that's what it looks like okay we are connected so let's go back to the app and we are going to hit the 720p start and check that out I do have FPV uh, hopefully you can see the screen a little bit let's see uh, turning on the displays and I got the virtual sticks uh, turning on the altitude hold gives me the up arrow and the down arrow and let's check out the settings uh, it just reverses the screen and you can go into the 3d virtual reality thing so we have the gyro mode and we have the virtual sticks we're gonna go up to 100% what we're gonna do also is tap that video icon and now we are taking videos as well so let's go ahead and fly it with the virtual sticks hitting the up arrow and quadcopter is armed and ready to go so let's go and lift it up all right nice altitude hold the baby there you go nice and stable check that out uh, even though the conditions are gloomy there is no wind so I made myself out here thought today was gonna be a wasted day at home I was just gonna do some editing maybe but check that out I'm able to fly today the background is all white because of the clouds but check that out you are able to fly this thing relatively well with the virtual sticks do some funnels nice flies very well guys let it hover up there take some nice smooth and steady videos nice do a little pan go up a little bit more all right or bring this baby down you know this Wi-Fi phone control now is getting to a point where it's very accurate and you are able to fly a quadcopter with just your phone and that's why DJI even came out with the spark just the phone control it is so good nice
not bad at all guys all right let's go check out the gyro mode there we go you don't have to put a finger on the trigger on this one as well nice let me lift it up in altitude a little bit and send it out bring it back bam left right it works fantastic love this function the G mode yeah very nice and this one does not have too much of a power drop it had a little bit of a power drop right there as you can see when I come back and I hit forward it'll drop a little bit and then it'll go back up so there is a little bit of power drainage from the battery with certain moves but man it's doing pretty nice not bad huh Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. Hey, I'm getting the hang of this G mode and yawing at the same time. Finally, check it out. I'm actually flying this thing pretty decent. Not bad, huh? All right. That was nice. All right, I'm getting the hang of it. Just give it a forward tilt a little bit because of the altitude hold. It holds the altitude and all you got to do is yaw a little bit to the direction that you want to go. Hey, we are getting a long flight time too with this one. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, alright. We are holding steady now. So, fantastic getting out of the G mode. And I'm just using my virtual sticks. Nice. gonna fly a little bit here taking the views all right I think that just about does it here Ooh, and it came crashing down and let me hit that video icon to stop the recording yep it just ran out of battery and it just came down very gently though it didn't just come crashing down it came down very gently and it did make a little hop on the ground so that wasn't bad there you go see the lights are flashing so we are done with this one and that is the flight time all right, just got done flying the Lidi RC's L8HW, the mini RC quadcopter ready to fly with the Wi-Fi phone app. Uh, absolutely fantastic of a flyer with the Wi-Fi phone app. I really, really enjoyed it. And for the first time, I was able to yaw and control the quadcopter like a regular controller with the G mode. So that was even better. Oh, the sun is coming out just at the right time. So I really, really like this quadcopter and the fact that it just taught me how to control it better with the G mode. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to start flying some of my other quadcopters with the G mode a little bit better now instead of just going to the left, right, forward, and backwards. So that is fantastic. I'm able to yaw a little bit now. So that is great. And it flew fantastic with the hard remote as well, man. Uh, I really like this quadcopter. Uh, I took a look at the videos and it did take some nice videos as well, as well as the photos. So we're going to check that out. And like I said, the Wi-Fi phone app. Download that free app. It is called the Lidi RC 
app in the app store it's a free download so check that out and there's a little sprinkle coming down as you can see the rain is a coming so we gotta cut this up real quick here so thank you everybody for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time